Hello and welcome to the Nest or the NR2003 Coca Cola Racing Series. And um, today we are racing at Daytona for the second time this season. Race 13 out of 37. Usually I'd be smart to put it halfway through the season, but eh, messed up on the scheduling, but I guess it'll fit here. So this is our second Super Speedway in the past few races. And um, after Watkins Glen, of course, quite a lot of parity. And then we've seen more at uh, Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Again, points lead is such a huge factor right now. You see both the top two in points right now. I think both of which starting inside the top ten. Could be mistaken by uh, give or take a few spots. Actually, they're both starting inside the top ten. Uh, Zigzagoon and uh, Frank Chilton, and uh, their points. Uh, Frank Chilton's or uh, Zigzagoon's points lead is uh, after his first DNF of the season last week is down to uh, 18 points. So that's an interesting factor. We've seen in the Cup Series a similar situation with Joy Payne and Bird Thresher. The third, Joy Payne is closing out with a win, and her points lead is still not that large in the Cup Series, only being at 23, which is only five points bigger than what it is right now here in this series. Uh, we've seen a lot of, we've seen a couple of bad wrecks last week. Um, one of them, probably being the worst, was Santa Messi and Sam Oskin. They're back today, no issues. And one more thing, we got one guy making his debut, Barry McCostner, uh, in the 20, making his debut for SB1. Other than that, I think most everything of importance to start off covered. Reggie, you got any initial thoughts for this race? I'll keep it simple, keep it clean. Nothing wrong with that. Um, we'll go back to our front row. Nimrod, again, I believe their first pull of the season. Definitely could use that 10-point bonus as they're not different, as well in points as they would like to, I'm certain. In the starting second, Michael, Mikel Aguero, some more spot in points. Actually, the entire top four, well below the cut line in points. Mikel Aguero just with a slight advantage um, over those guys. Actually, uh, None of those guys are actually even close to the cut line, so not a great start to the season for those guys. Hopefully, you can get some good start in here today. In starting position, you know it's Daytona. Really, whoever has the better play in the race has the advantage. We'll just have to see how that goes. Um, expect it to be kind of like the cup race. Probably no cautions and probably green the whole way through. Except this race is 20 laps. The cup race is 30. And then, uh, really not much else to say. And then we got Patrick Miller starting up here. He is actually just below the cut line. Yeah, I know it's really early in the season, but still something to factor in. Every point counts. In Jet 07, actually, uh, 10th in standings right now, doing pretty well. And then someday, and actually not performing too well at all. Hoping to get a good run today. And then Anthony McClure is just a little bit below the cut line as well, despite his inconsistencies. I think Frank Chilton is just closing out in ninth again. We'll have to definitely watch these two as the race goes on. Could we see a repeat of the Cup Series as one of these guys closed out? But the only thing is, the Cup Series had a Daytona winner that had won Daytona previously. Pox Cozart, currently not even above the cut line in the playoffs, has been very inconsistent trying to get their stuff back on. Starting pretty far back. They're going to try to go two for two or... Uh, sweep the Daytona races as Joy Paints did in the Cup Series. We'll see if they can do that. Reggie, you have any thoughts on that? Well, I don't. Yeah, keep it simple, keep it clean. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and then we seen last week, uh, Face Guy got his first win. He's now third in points. And they're a little nugget. Uh, Coca Cola Car won it. Uh, Coca Cola Super Speedway in the uh, Coca Cola Racing Series. So. That's kind of funny. You have three Coca-Cola cars on this image with Moon Man and Sam Oskin as well. You also have a Pepsi car. I believe the only one in the field, and that is Ryan Cole coming with the Cola Wars. And we got Mountain Dew with uh, Monster. And then we got a few energy drink rivalries with Middle Road Energy, Rowdy, and then I think a few others. Uh, just Freeze running it, and then uh, Thunder 24 fan running it for the first race since Sean R is running the cup. But we're going to go ahead and get the engine started here in just a few seconds. Nimrod, here's your pole sitter. We'll get to the command. Drivers, start your engines! Well, Reggie, you want to call green here? Yes, I can. All right. 
two Chevys. Uh, in fact, the entire top six is General Motors, all of which would have been Chevrolet's, except for Caden Williams running a Pontiac there in third, one of three Pontiacs in the field, two sanctioned with teams. Salamander Incorporated specifically. Nimrod, who has uh, lived up to their name in terms of causing for X, I guess you could say. Uh, hopefully to get some redemption here. Maybe a little lap, but starting on the pole, we'll see how it goes. Now, if you do have a car in the back having an issue, I see some smoke. We'll have to take a look at that after the start because I can't look at it right now. Green, 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 green. Green flag of Daytona, yes. We'll have to see if uh, we'll have to go around a lapse for it, at least knowing who that car was that didn't start. Caden Williams in the 25 won one cup race in 2021. Um, has been kind of downward spiral. Not going to be dishonest, but he has definitely had the lesser good piece of his career. He can get in the lap led here, not running so well here in the NCCRS. His, his career may be coming to an end after this season, but that is to be determined. Trent Chilton almost got passed there, but held his line as Patrick Miller up here. Uh, led the most laps at, I believe it was Watkins Glen, as we go to take a look and see who the car was that did not start. I, it was someone, I know. The 90 of Matthew Hill did not start. Unfortunate for that team. Um, they'll have to rebound because they're actually doing fairly well in points. So it was uh, some day and laid it at the line. You can definitely use that lap lead. Trying to fire back in points. There's Mr. Consistency. Mr. Consistency. There's, yeah, there's uh, Mr. Raw Pace. Uh, Frank Chilton. And, you know, Captain Consistency hasn't been consistent as of late. Had that name briefly. It was the six straight top ten. Just hasn't shown it since. He still has his name, though, because, I don't know, that's how it was known for. 97 Kyler Schuster. He's come back here. Hoping to get that consistency back. As Noah Clifton, uh, a couple of DeWalt cars on the bottom trying to make a move. Is Frank Shelton trying to run a good race here? I think he could take the points lead back as there is a two car breakaway now. I don't believe that's going to stick. They're probably going to catch up to those cars fairly soon, but some Dan's going to get another lap led, and that will put him in a decent spot to get most laps led, which he could use for a 10 point bonus. Still three wide. Um, that's interesting. Almost like these guys are able to just tan them almost as if it's 2009 uh, package. But as soon as uh, Noah Clifton pulled ahead, I think these guys are able to run back up. As some Dan leads third lap of the race. Frank Chilton being up here right now isn't going to do much for him, but finishing up here would do quite a bit as he was going to shift to the top by Noah Clifton, who is not in a great spot in points. Definitely is a good day. And uh, Byron Webb, who needs a good day as well. Then here in his debut, the 20 of Barry McCosner and the 20 AC Delco Chevrolet. That was back there a little bit. Fourth car in line on the bottom. He's trying to... He, he's already at a points deficit starting late in the season, but yeah, getting a good run for his debut. We've seen Cooper get a top 10 in his debut. Charlotte hasn't done much since, but... Unless some the Dan, it will lead yet another lap. Every lap leads a point, and then if you lead the most laps, you get a 10 point bonus. He's definitely potential for that. He's been very good at controlling the lanes. I didn't show him the speed he did last season. Um, he was very consistent on definitely championship tier, but this season trying to get his stuff back together. And I know it's Daytona, but not a bad place to start. Daytona Riddle was such a uh, parody, I guess. But let's see. 
They're going to let Sumdan lead another lap. He's got a Dodge uh, right behind him as well. There was one Dodge team that did not formulate a partnership with SRT officially yet. They still you got some stuff going, and that's road tracing. That's what some of them That's the only car in the field for this series is Byron Wynn will finally get around them on the bottom, try to flip that around, see if it'll work. But that top lane just did not have the draft it had before. And I think that's 20 car maybe will come get him that 17. Leading your first lap of your career, in your debut, it's pretty big. I think Barry McCostner about to do that. Right here, 17. Oh, 17 actually beat him there. I did not think that would happen. But sure enough, that top lane was able to regroup. Wow, that happened as a B7 of a Saber Fox also slipped up, allowing the 97 of Kyler Sustre come up as well. Three wide for the lead. I think Sustre is going to come and try to take it here on the bottom. That's going to slow. That's gonna, if, anyone, if there was anyone in the back not up front, there is now. 48 to Eric Monaco, yeah, last scored car. What'd you say, Reggie? I said, yeah, they're up here full wide back there in the back. Yep. Yeah, Got to stay clean to see your pulse sitter Nimrod back there trying to go four wide as they're known for pressing the envelope when it comes to racing. Uh, that gets him well. Kyler Schuster led it at the line trying to get his consistency back. He's actually doing pretty well in points. Um, trying to keep that going. Santa Messi also doing well in points trying to get... Kind of put the last raise behind him. There's Patatin Hall in the 71 trying to lead a lap here. Isn't showing any noise. Again, super speedway. What happened? Barry McCoster able to stay up front here. It's interesting. I think we did have a car win in our game last year. I know. I can't, I can't tell. I don't remember who it was. It was someone last year in the SC service. Won a race in their debut. I can't remember. Mary McCoster may try to do that here today. So, uh, Tattenhaw did lead that lap. And uh, I think we're starting to see some guys up front. Uh, we had some Dan leading up here for a while, but I think we're starting to see. I think Barry McCoster right now, uh, he, he actually didn't lead a lap that one lap, so he's trying to lead his first lap of the race. He's got some help from Jeremy Frey. Looks like he will complete that. For SB1 and Jeremy Frey with. Uh, all the motorsports. Tata Boy trying to go two for two for K&K racing. He definitely could use it. Um, he's been getting them. He, he's got the speed. He just ain't got the finishes to show for him. And henceforth why he is not doing too great in standings. He was actually well above the cut line this few weeks back. Constant DNFs and bad finishes based off of just a missed, missed calls, missed opportunities. Just Kind of led to a downward spiral of sorts. Hard to believe we're already halfway, but in CCRS, the race is usually a tad shorter. Jeremy Frey lays it at the line. Space Grad trying to come up here. He, he, I know he's far back from the points lead, but Frank Chilton and uh, Ziggs Goon don't do too well today, and he does do well. I definitely puts a new battle in perspective for the points lead. Yeah. Also keep in mind how Shred does, but three will get passed by the 22. Definitely not having a uh, win hangover after Coca-Cola. Keep consistency here at Daytona. Definitely a different track type. Melinda Jones could use a good run, but they're actually doing a lot better in points than you think they would. And as Jack Ross left the server uh, after before last race, Jimmy Starr once again the only uh, there's only now back to just one Toyota in the field. That is Jimmy Starr. 58 trying to run. I think we're starting to see that top line start to file out. 58's going to hold it. Cooper in 30 trying to get another top 10. He hasn't really shown any consistency since Charlotte or any speed at all, frankly. Where is Zig Zagoon and Frank Chilton right now? That. Is something we do need to watch. Frank Chilton is just a few positions ahead of Zigzagoon. 
I've definitely trimmed that points lead. He's Frank, I think, led a lap. Um, don't hold me on that, but I think he led a lap or two. So this could get close for points lead. And again, this race ain't over yet either. We'll still, still keep an eye on it. As they're in the mid pack, it's 50 and Melinda Jones finally make the move on the bottom. G1 at Talladega. That was about it. Racing for Shake and Bake. Teammate with uh, Genghis Khan. Both those cars have won this season. Trying to get both of them in the playoffs. Is Cooper on the bottom now. Guessing hasn't shown any anything other than anything really since Charlotte. And just trying to get their season going. Again, very, very new driver. Started late in the season. Trying to get their stuff going. Brock Nelson in the 51. Trying to get a draft as well. Red Bull. Racing. 30 closes the door. Almost slams it. See Pox Cozart up here trying to get a win. And then Alex Tanker in the 85. I believe one auto club and he's trying to he's just below the cut line as well, so he's trying to get some consistency going. Cooper trying to lead a lap or two here. 51 to Brock Nelson. Oh, yeah, those two forwards. I've seen it coming. Oh, 85 double crosses the 51, makes it three wide for the lead up front, and that is going to bring the 21 of Pox right there behind them. There's a monster. Didn't mean to go to them, but they're not too far back either. But the 85 Alex Tanker going to lead a lap. That would definitely put him a little bit closer to that playoff battle. Two MRE cars on the bottom, not teammates, but they're a little bit further back. Prince Freeze has yet to win a race. He's been showing a lot of consistency. Finished second at Charlotte to, I think, fourth at Charlotte to uh, Sabre Fox. Who ended up winning that race? Slowly winding down. Going to be three laps to go at the line. Where's your step? Yep, three laps to go this time by. Is that race pick? I think that uh, 33 is looking hot. Like a monster. Fox goes where it gets shuffled to the top. Alex Tanker holding the lead. Trying to go with one number two. With his own team running a single card uh, operation after leaving track house last season. As Monster is going to go low, but Jet 07 and the 07 is going to try to did absolutely destroy that and gonna absolutely hey. that's gonna leave the it's gonna leave the 85 hanging up top gonna be two to go at the line 07 a jet is your new leader one at Talladega in the cup series doesn't have any wins in the NCCRS and actually doesn't have any much of anything in the NCCRS but he's actually 10th in points despite this Run for PS Motorsports right behind him Thunder 24 fan who hasn't shown any speed since his almost championship run last season Two cars the same sponsor again, not teammates right behind right behind him. Vince Freeze and Thunder 24 fan. And Thunder 24 fan's gonna go low. Come to the white flag this time. Ryan Cole. Right behind him. Shred. 83 gonna lead it. I think the 07's got it at the line. Yeah, 07's got it at the line. All right, one lap to go. What's that 55 going to do? we got to watch that 55. Are they going to get a run? Is the 07 going to be able to get some speed off the top from the help of Vince Freeze? Oh, they split up. Ford's on the bottom working together. The 07 pulls ahead. The 55 blocks. He's ahead. Ryan Cole. In the 55, Pepsi Ford. Shred in tow. 07's got to run on the top, but I think the 55's got it. To the line, Ryan Cole is going to win here at Daytona. As I do want to take a look real quick at where the 4 finished compared to the 06. Was it's little. 
Thor finishes 38th as the 06 will finish much worse. And I was talking about this. Where does Space Guide finish? Not close enough to close that gap, but both of these guys not having a great race, but just a very slow, small gain on the 06 for that points lead. Looks like the 18 of Patrick Miller. Well, I guess he finished in the draft, but uh, yeah, pretty clean race. Not, not a lot of not, not really nothing much. The 90 did not get to start because of an engine failure, I would assume. But uh, it's going to be maybe four points gained <laughs> for the points lead, which should make it eight, 14 points. <laughs> this is making it closer. But next week, I think, is going to be really the uh, – when we get back into the rhythm out of the super speedway situation at Kansas. So. That's going to be an interesting race to watch. Um, Reggie, you got any thoughts? No, I know. Yeah, well, um, again, we've seen Ryan Cole. Hasn't really shown a lot of speed. Uh, he just was able to get it done in the line. <laughs> Had played, the, played it right, won the race. I thought Thunder 24 fan was going to get it. No, came home fourth. Vince Freeze is another top ten. Monster with a good finish. Monaco with a good finish. Pox with another top ten. Uh, Jet almost won it, but didn't quite have enough. And Shred going to help that. I think they may be uh, chunking at that points lead as well. Keep an eye on Shred. In fact, right. you all know, I think Shred and Space Guy are going to get a big gain on that points lead. And uh, Santa Messi with a slight one as well. Maybe also a slight gain for the... Oh. Yeah, no gain for the 97, but maybe some slight gains for Vince Freeze and Eric Monaco and Jet. But again, that's points leads. Both the points leaders didn't finish well, but uh, yeah. Um, but Reggie, you want to? Uh, you got any uh, last thoughts or anything you want to say before we call it good? No, we're good. All right. Well, for me, Vince Freeze or not Vince Freeze. For me, Reggie Fogelman, NCCRS, and I guess Daytona. This was NCCRS Daytona, and we'll see you next race at Kansas.